Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Flo. So today I'm just going to be doing a quick video using the Logic Stem Separator and Chroma Glow Saturation Plugin from the new uh, Logic 11 update. Uh, I got a beat that I released on a beat tape like a couple months ago, and I was listening to it in my car the other day, and I realized I want to change it up a little bit, uh, mainly turn the bass up some and uh, add a little saturation to brighten it up just a little bit. So gonna see if these tools can help us out and i'm not gonna be going over the rest of the updates right now just because mainly i'm not gonna be using them at the moment and i plan on making a video next week using the uh, ai tools and some of the sound library sounds that just got uh, updated as well so i'll leave it up on the screen for right now you can see everything that they got but like i said i'm not gonna be going over all of that right now i'm just gonna be focusing on the stem separator and the chroma glow. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, go ahead and get our stem separated. So go to functions, stem splitter. It's gonna ask you what you wanna chop out. Uh, I don't got vocals on this track, so I guess I can leave that up. Actually, wait, I do got vocals on it. It got vocals, yeah, there's a vocal in the sample. Uh, so yeah, big vocals. So we're gonna keep everything, and we're gonna split it. All right. So we got all that. Yeah. See, look at that bass line. Started low already. Um. All right. So let's see what we got here. Just like the earth, Sound pretty good. See it again, it's still original. That's what it sound like. Listen to these tracks by themselves. Let's put it back on mute. So long. Just like the earth revolves around the sun, our life's in circles. Yeah, we got it for the most part. You know, we got that little warbly sound you get from cutting out frequencies but deal with it uh, let's hear this scary y'all how they how they even get this out like this how they even get these frequencies out of it like you can sit around all day long and try to get it like this and it ain't gonna be this perfect and they just make it look like it's just so simple man, man. Uh, they got it. but yeah like i said i just want to go in and turn up this bass song so i can always start with it So yeah, it sounds good. So like, if you got any songs that you want to go back and remaster, you know, change parts up, I think it's a good tool to use. Uh, let me get a compressor on this. I really like the uh, Studio Compressor, Studio FET Compressor on Logic for my basses. Seems like it gives a little deeper, deeper feel. Yeah, it's just deepen up just a little bit. Is that even, no, see, that's not even the right track. <laughs> what am I talking about? 
Oh, I ain't heard nothing. I ain't heard Nathaniel. All right. Thoughts on that little wrong. It ain't bouncing around, but it ain't the baseline. There it is. Now you hear, you hear what I'm talking about. All right. Doubt it's in a little bit. I want to take it off just a little bit. Yeah, see, that's really all I wanted, just to give it a little bit more life to it. It was just, it was so low down in the mix. I was like, nah, nah, crank it up just a smidge. All right. So, yeah, I got that. Did what I want to do with my bass line. Um, look good on that. I didn't really want to do too much with it. Now, let's see if we can add some saturation. I think I want to make it on the... Uh, Put it on the instrument track. I just want to add a little saturation to it just to brighten it up just a little. Yeah, you can get, get it there. Change it up. Got the chroma glow. I was using it earlier. But uh, it's, not, it's in the distortion portion of the instrument, of the BSTs. So you can hear some different frequencies come through. Um, see if we got these presets. Yeah, there's a lot of different presets that you got in here that you can use. Um, we're gonna go with some keys because what it mainly is keys and a little bass. I'm oversaturating at the beginning just to hear what it's doing. Then I'll back off of it to get it right. But yeah, you can definitely hear what it's doing though. Just bringing out some different textures in it. Yeah, I don't like that. That's dirty. No dirty than I want it. That sounds like it's kind of like ducking. Hear it in the mix so we can get a better idea because just listen to it like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know how it's sounding compared to what else is going on. So let's try this. since I started using Logic 2. I made this beat on Ableton and mastered it on Ableton and everything. But um, I've been making beats on Logic lately and I've used the Logic uh, AI Mastering Assistant. And I like it. We're gonna see how it turns out on this. Cause it usually gives it like, it brightens it up just a little bit, which I like mine 
a little dirty. I like to put, you know what I'm saying? Uh, vinyl filters, stuff like that on it. But I do like how this brings it out, brings out your highs a little bit. Just like they see, are. see, I already brightened up just a little bit. That's all I want. Just means you're bright. Yeah. yeah. See, it's all kind of dull. Now, bring it to the forefront. mic clip for one of my necklaces but uh yeah so yeah that was it so it breaks down got them chopped pretty good um so if you just needed this so you can go in and remaster some tracks or uh, even you know if you're not just sampling you know you're just going in to remaster some tracks and like i say bring up bass lines or whatever instruments you feel like weren't good at the moment you know this would be a good tool to use um yeah that's all i got you know like i say next week i'll be doing a track i'm gonna make a beat using the uh studio drum studio session ai tools and see if we can make something out of that but that's it for now peace <laughs>